This is Airsoft Mike. I'm calling an Airsoft family meeting so we can discuss the latest video made by Airsoft Mike. When the video is over, feel free to make your thoughts be heard in the comments section. Women and children may also speak. Go on then, my boy, by order of the Peaky Blinders. So this is it people, this ah, is the Webley Mark VI Service Revolver. Now I know I did the whole Peaky Blinders theme, but more importantly, the real steel version of this revolver was the standard issue service pistol for the armed forces of the United Kingdom, the British Empire and the Commonwealth from 1887 until 1963. But right here today, in 2020, I unbox the Gun Heaven Webley Airsoft version 6mm CO2 revolver. And just like its real counterpart, it's a top break one. Okay, let's have a very quick look around the box, loving what they've done right here. And look on the back loads of information and look it even gives film and gaming platform credits so all the movies all the games that this bad boy has appeared in it's listed there but only up to a certain date because as we all know those of us who are fans of Peaky Blinders this is the favoured weapon or sidearm of Thomas Shelby so let's do this and by the way, the info you've got here, I'll recite some of that near the end of the video as we unbox this beauty. Now, the first thing we get is an instruction manual. It's a decent one too. Nice. Gives you everything you need to know. Next. Ah, now, ha, this is what I really love. As per the original Real Steel version, it comes with a small arms training volume one, pamphlet number 11. Now it's not exactly instructions on how to use this specific model, even though it is featured in here. It's generally instructions on your posture, how to stand, how to hold it. I mean, this is brilliant. It's just like how it was back in the day. Look, it even says, what does that say? Ha, left foot carried off. And look, body turned half right. I love it. And now for the revolver itself. Would you run your eyeballs up and down, left and right on this bad boy? Oh, look at it. Oh. And you know what I really love about this particular model? This is the battlefield or weathered version. I mean, take a close look at this. Look at the finish on that. They've literally made it look as if this has seen some serious battle. <laughs> awesome. Now you do have the choice of getting this in a nice clean silvery chrome version or a nice clean pure black version but come on oh my gosh don't you just love this battlefield or weathered look this has awesome now the first thing i want to show you is all the markings and trades because this is the fully licensed version by webley 
Now check this out. And unfortunately, it really does depend where you are on this planet as to whether you get this version, which is your nice sort of weathered look with all the markings and trades because there are plenty retailers out there that sell this beauty, but with no markings, not fully licensed. So starting beneath that cylinder, you've got your Webley Mark 6 patents, 1915 markings right there. Moving up above the cylinder, you have your Mark 6. You almost can't see it because of all the weathering. <laughs> then right there, you've got your 455 caliber markings. I can't get over all that worn look. Looks absolutely fantastic, you know? In any other situation, in any other product, whether it be a TV, a printer, a car, whatever, if you got something brand new and it looked like this, you'd want your money back. But with this, it just makes it even more valuable, makes it even more authentic looking. And then right here, you have your unique serial number and that's pretty much it in terms of markings. Okay, so let's continue with the design and features and on the base of the grip, you have your lanyard point and this being a CO2 airsoft version, you've got that notch right there so you can gain access inside your grip so you can install your CO2 capsule. Now, with the design right there, by the way, it's all metal apart from your plastic grip panels. So everything down there and the rest of this revolver is metal. You've got some nice checkering on the grips. And then right here, you have your hammer. Loving the design of this. This is exactly how the real one is. And by the way, as this is licensed by Webley, Gun Heaven pretty much got the blueprint, as it were, to make this. So everything on this should be pretty authentic, externally anyway. So moving along, you've got your rear sight. And part of that whole rear sight structure, you've got this lever right here, because not only is this a rear sight, just like that Schofield I did the other day, by pushing that lever right there, look, it releases that. But we'll come back to that in a moment. So here's your cylinder, your cylinder retention mechanism, your six inch barrel, your front sight, and your business end. And we're on this side again. Not much to see here, apart from what I've already shown you. So let's get to it. This is the top brake model. So by pushing that lever right there, you release your barrel and cylinder and notice the extractor is extracting your cartridges. But when you've got a top brake revolver, most of us don't want to do that. Most of us want to do this. <laughs> but doing that and this is very cool, but it is airsoft. So you never know, it might just break sooner or later. <laughs> and as you can see there, by moving your barrel, you can see how the extractor works. By folding your barrel all the way down, your extractor goes in, which makes it a lot easier to put your cartridges in. And as you know by now, putting them in one by one is so satisfying. And I'm loving that it also says Webley 455 right there. Awesome. Right. Let's get them out again because I want to get this bad boy ready so we can do a shooting test. Right, so let's gain access to the uh, CO2 compartment. And as you can see, that's where it will go there. That green section you can see there, that's what will puncture your capsule. So um, I've got one here and it's one of those that already has a bit of silicon oil in there. And this is where your lanyard point has a dual purpose. You use this to screw in your CO2 capsule and you should hear a little hiss once it's been pierced. Let's get that grip panel back on. Ha! And we're good to go. Oh, by the way, that is not alcohol. It's actually flat 
Pepsi, okay? I don't drink alcohol, can't stand the taste of alcohol, I never have and I never will. Ha! And I don't smoke either, that was a fake cigarette you saw earlier on. No, it's got nothing to do with me being all religious and squeaky squeaky clean. I literally can't stand cigarettes or alcohol. It's as if I am literally allergic to the stuff. Anyway, I digress. Let's test this bad boy. I'm not going to put any of those cartridges in yet because I've yet to put some BBs in there. I just want to make sure this goes bang when I pull that hammer back. And I say pull the hammer back, I don't need to because it's a single action and a double action. So, double action meaning I can go straight to the trigger and pull. Nice! <laughs> oh, you can smell the silicon oil in that. Anyway, <laughs> and I can pull the hammer back and do it that way too. Single action. Double nice. Right now, as always, to get these Airsoft cartridges or shells ready, you just pop a BB in right there. Okay, I've got all six of them ready. I don't do drugs either, by the way. In fact, I'm not squeaky clean, I do have an addiction. I'm absolutely addicted to chocolate. Yes, chocolate. And I love a kebab. Oh, I love a dirty kebab. Donna kebab, garlic sauce, chili sauce, all the salads. Oh, filthy addiction to that too. No, shouldn't have done that. Now, the first thing I want to do is just make sure it works. So what I've got, I've got an already used target just to test it. Uh, then I'll do a chrono and then I'll do an accuracy test. So, oh, that works. Oh, and it's nice and loud. I don't know how you're picking that up. Absolutely loving the snappiness and banginess of it all. Do you know what? As much as I love this piece, that FPS is all over the shop. One minute it's up there in the 370s, then it's banged down to the 340s. You don't know whether you're coming or going with this. Right, got them loaded up again. Let's get them in and do a little accuracy test. Now, fixed hop up. So you can't adjust nothing on this. <laughs> or should I say anything on this. So um, I'm not expecting too much as far as accuracy is concerned. Oh wow, I was not expecting that. Now to be fair, I was a lot closer than I normally would be because I didn't have much faith <laughs> in a non-adjustable hop-up revolver because they're normally notoriously bad when it comes to accuracy, but my goodness, would you look at that. Almost hit the center of that X, almost hit the center of that X, almost hit the center of that X. I'm pleased with that. So, there you go people, as far as the looks is concerned, I'm giving this bad boy 10 out of 10. What a beautiful, weathered, battlefield finish it's got. I must say, on certain parts, it almost looked like it's got too much weathering, <laughs> okay? It, look at that, it looks like corrosion, but trust me, it's all fabricated. Well, well I think it is, but yeah. Gorgeous finish, absolutely love this. As you saw there, the um, accuracy test, not bad at all, pretty decent, but yeah, I was standing closer than normal. So, is there anything I don't like about this? Uh, affirmative, the trigger. Yes, it looks amazing, very authentic looking, all metal, good. 
But check this out. When you pull this trigger, so you're gonna do a double action right here, watch. Right there, I hit a massive wall. It becomes very difficult. When I say difficult, I'm talking relatively speaking compared to other um, airsoft weapons. You really gotta give it a good old pull before you can get that hammer back and fire. Right, listen for the reset. Oh, just there, see that? Now you're probably thinking, good, that means you can fire again. No, watch, nothing. So even though you hear that reset, you've got to let it go completely. And that's the actual reset click before you can fire it again. But I suppose you could get around that single action. So first, cock that hammer, see how far back that trigger goes. Now that's more like it. So from there, very easy to fire and Bob's your uncle. But again, listen to that false reset. I don't know if you heard that, but I did. But again, you can't fire it. You gotta let that bad boy go completely before you can fire. To be fair, I just love firing this thing. It is so satisfying. And I love the decent weight too. You really know you're firing this when you do fire it. So overall, I'm happy with this. Not a fan of the whole double action because of the amount of strength you have to put into pulling that. Again, I'm not saying I'm weak. I'm just saying, compared to others, it's a heavy trigger pull just to get that double action going. In fact, I think you'll find I'm pretty strong. <laughs> anyway, people, this is the Webley MK6 Service Revolver. The Webley Revolver has been manufactured since the 1830s and has evolved since its original model to the Webley MK6 Service Revolver, which over 300,000 were produced between 1914 and 1939. This revolver revolutionized handgun design and was immediately adopted as the preferred sidearm for the British and Commonwealth troops during both the First and Second World Wars due to its superior stopping power and fast reloading. Following this success, the Webley MK6 was also adopted by law enforcement agencies across Britain and many other countries. Due to the design, styling and usability, the Webley MK6 service revolver became recognised as the gentleman's sidearm of choice, with it being featured in many films and in more recent times in popular gaming platforms including Call of Duty and more recently the popular TV show Peaky Blinders. The Webley MK6 CO2 service revolver is designed to the same specifications of the original 455 Webley and includes the original markings as well as realistic shells slash cartridges. Even though this airsoft one, they're not as fat as the actual real cartridges. This is one gorgeous CO2 airsoft revolver thanks for watching catch me next time on the airsoft mike youtube channel go on then my boy fade to black <laughs>